It's now time for your midday sports. President of the Intersecondary School Sports Association, Keith Wellington, has joined those sharing condolences to the family and friends of former competition officer George Forbes, who passed away on Tuesday night. In a release this morning, it's noted that Forbes provided sterling leadership to the association and was instrumental in ISA's efforts to modernize its operations while fulfilling its mandate. Wellington praised Forbes for his leadership and vision. Issa is saddened at the death of our former competitions and executive officer, Mr. George Forbes. George worked for Issa for over 18 years and was a stalwart. He really played his part in the growth and development of Issa over those, those um, 18 years. He would have served under three different presidents and provided a lot of guidance through his knowledge and wisdom of sport in general and of the Issa constitution and mandate. We are really saddened that he's lost and share our condolences with his family and close friends. Forbes joined ISA in 2002 before retiring in 2020. Now at sports time, Jamaica's reggae boys were nil all against Cameroon in their international friendly in that country. The reggae boys team is being captained by defender Damien Lowe and sees four debutants. They are Justin McMaster, goalkeeper Jamali Waite and local players Alwyn Harvey and Peter McGregor. The rest of the 11 was, well, has Javain Brown, Jamoy Topi, Ricardo Thomas, Kevin Lambert, Lamar Walker and Jordan Fletcher. The Cameroon team is using the game as preparation for the FIFA World Cup which starts on November 20. And back locally, defending champions Kingston College and Mona High can clinch their semifinal spots today in the Issa Manning Cup when they take on Charlie Smith and St. George's College respectively in the quarterfinal round. Kingston College take on Charlie Smith in the first of the double header at 1 p.m. at the Stadium East Complex. KCR coming off a 4-1 win over rival St. George's College and a win today against a Trenchdown based school and STG failing to do the same against Mona see the Purples into the last four. Mona are top of the table after brushing aside Charlie Smith 4-0 and take on the Neverbell coached team who have a minus three goal difference. On Tuesday, Jamaica College and St. Andrew Technical booked their spots in the last four with wins over Haile Selassie and Wilmer's boys. Meanwhile, the quarterfinal round of the Issa Costa Cup kicks off today with four matches at 3 p.m. Last season's beaten finalists, Manning School, take on William Nib in a clash at the Landala Sports Complex in Group A. The other match in the group sees Manchester High welcoming Froome Technical to Brooks Park for their encounter. Over in Group B, free scoring favourites Clarendon College, Bata Parish Neighbours, Central High, this at Foga Road. And Ben Francis Cup holders, Edwin Allen, travel to Draxall for their date with Dintel Technical. Now to cricket, the Jamaica Scorpions kept their hopes of qualifying for the semi-final of the CWR Regional Super 50 Cup after beating the Barbados Pride by five wickets at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium in Antigua on Tuesday evening. Chasing 177 runs to win, the Scorpions got to victory for the loss of five wickets with 29 balls to spare. Brandon King, 41, and Chadwick Walton, 37, were the top scorers as Kamari Boyce had two for 27. The two shared in a 91-run opening stand before the team lost three wickets for 23 runs. Andre McCarthy contributed 31, while Rothman Powell and Pete Salmon made 17 each, with the latter unbeaten. Earlier, after electing to bat, Barbados Pride were bowled out for 176 in 45.5 overs. Captain Shea Hope was the top scorer with 49, while Akeem Jordan and Shamar Springer made 21 and 20 respectively. Dennis Bulai bagged 3 for 31 for the Jamaican franchise, while Javor Royal claimed 3 for 33. The Scorpions were recording their second win of the season, having defeated the Pride by 68 runs in their first meeting. The Rothman Powell captain team have lost to the Leeward Islands Hurricanes at the West Indies Academy in their two other games. The top two teams from the group will advance to the semi final. World Cup final after a comprehensive seven-wicket win over New Zealand in the first semi-final today in Sydney. The Pakistanis first restricted the Kiwis to a below par 152 for five after they elected to bat first. Darren Mitchell top scored with 53, while Captain Kane Williams contributed 46. Shine Shafridi picked up two for 24. 
Now led by 105 run opening stand between Captain Babar Azam 53 and Mohammed Rizwan 57, Pakistan cantered to victory at 153 for 3 in 19.1 overs. The 2009 champions will oppose either, in, thus either India or England in the final as they square off in Thursday's second semi final at the Melbourne Cricket Ground in Australia. And that's it for your midday sports report. Shamela, it's back to you. Thank you, Renardo. And that's the midday news. I'm Shamela Pullen. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news, sports and production teams, good afternoon.